Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading for October 25th to the 31st. My name is Johanna. Welcome to Tanisha's Soul. We're going to go through some general messages for you guys uh, for the week. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising. Um, we have also done the mid-October readings. So if you haven't checked those out, feel free to do so. And as well, you guys can follow me on Instagram. The link for that is down below, okay? All right, so we have TikTok, number 30. And the bottom of the deck, we have Round and Round, number 25. Interesting. I feel like there's been something you've been going round and round in circles with here, Capricorn. Kind of like, um, like you keep going over something in your mind and it's like time to make a decision is what I'm getting. Um, let's see. We have the Four of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. Ace of Pentacles in the center here. The King of Wands. We have the Star. We have Judgment. And the Wheel of Fortune. Damn, that's some big energy here. Uh, we have the Six of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So, um, yeah, I kind of feel like there was maybe something you were holding back on or waiting. It's like you're kind of letting that go with this Ten of Swords. Um, and with the Seven of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, it's like you were kind of just like waiting for something to grow. And maybe you're not waiting for that anymore. Like you're kind of like, maybe you're done investing into a situation or something here. I see you kind of like creating plans to go towards something new here. Seven of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. The Seven of Swords can be a card of planning or... I kind of feel like it's your energy like stepping away from something or you know kind of planning something maybe behind the scenes that other people don't know about so it kind of has that sneaky vibe to it um and so i and i think it's because you're, you've maybe decided to no longer invest in something else this could be what you're kind of going back and forth on here um but i do feel as though there's something new here definitely with the ace of pentacles that you're wanting to invest your energy in and then we have the star judgment and the wheel of fortune there's a big change here. Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune both can indicate change. I feel as though there's you, it's you stepping into this place of like some of you are stepping into the spotlight. I feel like there's big growth and expansion. It's like stepping into what it is that you really want to do with the star. It's like, you know, following your calling, definitely with the star and judgment. This can be like following your purpose, you're in alignment with your path going forward. And I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, it's going to open up some big changes here for you and uh, big growth and big expansion. You're going to be able to expand something. We do have the Six of Cups. You definitely could be kind of in your head about, you know, reminiscing of the past. We have the Three of Pentacles here as well. Like maybe how things were working in the past, situations you've been in the past. Okay. Um, so there's a little bit of like a nostalgia but I also feel like you're kind of looking at like what makes you happy as well. So let's see what this, uh, what's this 10 of swords here for Capricorn? Why is this 10 of swords here? Clarify the 10 of swords for Capricorn, please. We have the three of cups. Yeah, you definitely could have left a situation. Some of you left like in a, a community. We have the Knight of Wands. You could be thinking about this, right? Because we do have the round and round TikTok. It's like needing to make a decision, you know, waiting on something here too, right? It's like, I feel like you're letting go of something that involved other people. Some of you could be third party if it's relationship stuff, but it's like something that once made you happy. I feel like you're kind of moving in a new direction here. We have Knight of Wands. We have Justice. Okay, so it's something that feels more balanced and harmonious for you. And I feel like the decision that you're making of letting something go is probably a good decision for you. Why the Seven of Swords here for Capricorn? Why is this Seven of Swords here? We have the Four of Swords. Yeah, you've been thinking a lot about this. What's this Ace of Pentacles here for Capricorn? Yeah, Six of Cups. This could be you going back to something that you did in the past or something that... Um, if it's a person, it's a soulmate energy, okay? You feel a strong connection to this person and you're kind of thinking and planning on like how you want to move into something. But a lot of you, this feels like an idea or an opportunity that you, was presented to you in the past. You are thinking a lot about it. Uh, and I think for a lot of you, like thinking about whether you're going to take action on it here. Why the King of Wands? 
yeah, nine of wands, like definitely going back to something that you have dealt with in the past because the nine of wands can be like a like patterns, history. A lot of you, this has something to do with your financial. We have the king of pentacles there. Also, that's like your energy. Um, give me one more for this ace of pentacles, six of cups. King of swords. You're definitely trying to be very logical and very practical about this. And I see this with the four of swords, seven of swords, a lot of planning, a lot of like thinking about things, analyzing things of like how you're going to get something to move forward. What are the things with the nine of wands you have to overcome in order to get this off the ground? Um, it's like what assessing your options, looking at your options. And I feel like this is kind of where you're going like round and round needing to make a decision or times going by as you're thinking and thinking and thinking. So you're kind of like really in your head about something here. Let's see what the star is. We have the five of wands and the nine of swords. Yeah, you're kind of like, I feel like you're wanting to, you need to make a decision here, definitely with judgment. And I feel like you know where you want to go. I think it's just a matter of getting there that you're, you're kind of stressed and, and worried about. Yeah, judgment is the three of pentacles. It's like, are you going to build this? Are you going to, is this going to lead to a foundation? We have the ace of cups, right? So it's like, are you going to take this opportunity here that's being presented to you, ace of pentacles, ace of cups, and build something with it? I think a lot of you are maybe questioning, can I build something with it? Is it going to grow? Is it going to expand? Can I build it into something more? Am I going to get recognition? Is there going to be reward for this? And we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like things will expand here for you. Ten of Wands. It's going to take work. Need one more for this Wheel of Fortune here for Capricorn. Yeah, Six of Swords. It's going to take work to, like, I feel, get this off the ground. It's also going to take the energy and the effort for you to put in change. I feel like the universe is lining up an opportunity here for you that is like, if you want to put the energy and the effort and the work into it, which is a very Capricorn thing, you can do it. You can get this to a really good place. You can move forward with this, with the Six of Swords, but it will take hard work. And I think the question is, like, are you willing to put in the work to get yourself into this situation? Five of Swords also is like... Five of Swords, Six of Swords, like coming out of this conflict, right? Um, but also, and moving on to better things. Um, this might open up op new opportunities for you as well, like down the line. But I see you needing to put a lot of effort in and also create change in your life with the Tower. Five of Swords, we have strength. Believe in your strength. Believe in the power that you have to change this situation for yourself. Um, so it's just kind of like having the confidence in yourself that you can create what you're looking for. Because I do feel like there's something that you're considering and thinking a lot about. And maybe some of you with the Six of Cups, like you're kind of like daydreaming about it a lot too. Um, is kind of what I'm getting off it. Like not so much a nostalgia of the past, but like a daydreamy type of energy while you're thinking about this a lot. So let's see what your advice is. Let's see advice for Capricorn this week. Page of Cups reversed. Seven of Wands. Let's see advice for Capricorn. And the page of pentacles. Six of wands here at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. I feel like there's a need to... Mm, it's like don't make an, an emotional decision. I feel with the page of cups reverse. It's like not making an emotional decision. Um, really kind of like thinking about what's going to progress you farther some of you maybe have to go back to school with this page of pentacles or there's more to learn in this situation um the seven of wands is like okay how are we going to get to the top how are we going to progress and move forward how are we going to have success right and the six of wands we have the eight of pentacles behind that so it's like how are you what's the energy and the effort that you're willing to put in in order to create this success for you and again if you put the energy and the effort in you are going to get that recognition, right? A lot of you, this is definitely something new and it's like taking this and fighting for what it is you want. What's the goal or the dream that you have? Um, and are you willing to step forward into this? Are you willing to move forward into this? So again, I feel like there's something new here for you that it's just a matter of you stepping into it and leading with a practical side of things like that earthy grounded element versus like letting your emotions, you know, I see you already kind of doing that, like wanting to be very logical um 
but it's like fighting for what it is that you want and the goals and the dreams that you have because I see you coming into a lot of alignment here it's going to take work but you are stepping into this place of like creating and building something for yourself so it looks really good Capricorn uh, hopefully that resonated if not you guys can check out your other signs but I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you all in the next one bye